towards Mathis overall to this point, but I think it's extremely close. I think you're going to see some differences in the scorecards from our judges ringside. Those judges are Nola Oliver, Ed Kenner, and Erwin Deutsch. Timekeeper James Korb. Our ring announcer, Jose Santiago. Our two referees working all about tonight, Brian Stutz and Jim Korb. My name is Vince Ferrari. We appreciate you joining us here at the Georgia Boxing Championships. Got to thank all of our great sponsors, Tecate. You saw one of the lovely Tecate ring girls. Sports fan property, Shea Bailey Promotions, always presenting classy, terrific live boxing here in Atlanta. Another great card, and we still have three more bouts after this one. This is a six-round, welterweight bout. Nice left to the body by Chris Gray. Chris Gray in the red trunks, Winston Mathis in the black trunks. Both exchange. We've seen that a number of times. We're both cleanly connecting. Mathis backing up. Both have had their times, but they've come forward. Gray trying to set up his shoulder to, to lead him block. Hands are down, though, protecting more of the body because Mathis has been very willing to put the work in on the body here in the early rounds. We'll see now as we're in the round number four if now Mathis will start to go upstairs more, especially with the guard of Gray to the body. Nice combo there to Mathis. Mathis resets. Chris, some of Chris Gray's jabs getting blocked. Nice overhand right, but Gray responds. But I think he connected with gloves of Winston Mathis. Both boxers have had good defensive moments as well so far. Don't see the, oh, and the mouthpiece came out again. That is the third time a smile from Winston Mathis. You can't believe it. Some booze here at the Buckhead Theater. Some frustration, I think, from the opposing corner, that of Chris Gray. I think some of our other sponsors, Sports Radio 680, The Fan, Xfinity, Buckhead Saloon hosting the official after party tonight. Free admissions. Takate, Bacardi, Elhimador uh, all sponsoring that after party at Buckhead Saloon. Back underway here in this fourth round. Chris Gray with a word with referee Brian Stutz. And again, mouth open for Mathis as he leans forward and he gets caught but then connects and is holding Gray's head down a little bit. Mathis has been, that's why his mouthpiece comes out. His mouth is open and has been for a good part of this bout. Keeps that mouth open. Very interesting from Winston Mathis. Don't want to see the effects of the dropping away. Oh, nice left hand on the way out. With Chris Gray as he backed up. Both missing on the majority of their exchanges there. Mathis leans forward, a little left hook to the ear of Chris Gray. Short right cross hits on the ear of Chris Gray. I think they're talking a little bit now in the ring here in this fourth round. Corner wants Mathis to let his hands go. He has been less willing to do that as I think we're starting to see some fatigue here in this fourth round. It's been sloppier. First three, very even, some crisp punches. That one connected to the body, but then Gray responded to a clean right and then catches Mathis leaning forward, stumbles, and they reset in the middle of the ring. Another exchange, but some punches blocked. Gray, I think, felt better about winning that fourth round. So if you give Gray the edge in that fourth round, then you're talking 2-2 two -two in rounds, and you're talking in even out through four rounds as you see another one of the beautiful Takate ring girls putting up that five, that fifth round sign. Six round welterweight bout. Dino Demacic, Jared Robinson in a light welterweight four round bout. That's next. Nicole Woods taking on Elisa Moreno in a light welterweight four round bout. That will be our 
Ace Battle tonight, and then our main event tonight will be Paul the Truth Delgado, a veteran of the Georgia Boxing Championships, and the Big Rockout, which of course will take place in December. The process of what's happening with the Georgia Boxing Championships, if you're not familiar with it, is there are events held throughout the year in more frequent fashion, and it's a build-up to a main event the weekend of the football championship here in Atlanta that happens every year in college football. First right connects by Chris Gray. And so almost a proving ground is a good exchange. And, and Mathis holding on to Gray there, left and then a right. Mathis charging now, go back it up. And a warning from Brian Stutz and Mathis leans forward and you get a break. And no pushing of the head down, says Brian Stutz, Chris Gray. Both boxers have slowed down some, but still seeing the action. The exchange there. Gray turned his hat, his momentum turned his back away from him, but Mathis did not punch. Fortunate there for Chris Gray. Classy Chris Gray in the red trunks. Winston Mathis. And we got a warning, and now we got the mouthpiece out again. That is the fourth time. Chris Gray having to stay in the neutral corner, but getting some help, some uh, words of wisdom from the corner. Xavier Biggs and others in wins in Chris Gray's corner. And a point going to be taken off. Point taken off for the mouthpiece coming out. But if, you're, if, the, if his mouth is open, that mouthpiece is going to come out, and there has to be a price to pay. So a point off there, and in a close bout, man, that could be the deciding point. Shot to the body, Gray goes upstairs. Leaning forward, now good exchange, both landing. Chris Gray letting the hands go, and maybe Math is stunned a little bit. There's Chris Gray looks to have a little bit of a second win. Six to left, then comes through with a straight right. Mathis let his hands go, but they're to the body. He has not moved the levels quite as much. Hasn't progressed with it. There's been times where he's gone upstairs, but I think he's done enough work to, to the body to hurt Gray to where he feels like he can pay off upstairs. And Mathis dropped his mouthpiece again. And booze here is Mathis doesn't agree with the booze, but he's already had a, a point taken off. I'm not sure what he's saying that. The reason why he's losing his mouthpiece, and this will be, uh, I know he's going to get another point taken off. He is not by Brian Stutz. Already has lost one, but he boxes with his mouth open, so that's going to happen. And def in more of a defensive role right now, able to punch out of it, comes out of the ropes. Both boxers letting their hands go. But Mathis more in a defensive mode here. And did that mouthpiece come out again? No. All right, that was, wow, I thought that came out again. My goodness. It's happened five times already. Well, that was saliva that came out and they tangle in the middle of, of the ring and then a break and a nod of the of the head from Mathis who's a little frustrated. Stick of the jab but blocked by Mathis. Gray Moore of the aggressor coming forward. Mathis now responds and he's sent back to the ropes and might be hurt. Let's see if Gray can bounce. Final seconds of this round. Mathis trying to punch his way out of it and stay alive in the final seconds of this fifth round. And there is the bell. Wow. Chris Gray. Strong finish to that fifth round. And was that a 10-8 round for classy Chris Gray because of the point taken off from Winston Mathis with the mouthpiece coming out? And I think you could definitely make the case that Chris Gray won the round and a point taken off from Mathis. And I think it was very even. I mean, it could have easily gone 2-2 through the first four. So if it's a two-point 
round for Classy Chris Gray, then that means you're going to need a two-point round here for Winston Mathis just to even things out. Now, there's no guarantee that the, so with all very close rounds, all five of them, it's not a guarantee that that's the case, that Mathis would need a knockdown or a knockout. But one thing's for sure, I think everyone in Buckhead Theater would like to see Winston Mathis keep his mouthpiece in as Brian Stutz had to go get Mathis out of the corner with some late words. See which one of these boxers lets their hands go. A lot of rabid punches to the side of Winston Mathis from Chris Gray in the red trunks. They both stay tangled. And again, Mathis punching through the break. And I think the string or something off one of the gloves of Chris Gray that's sticking out. We'll see. No, maybe not. Oh, both of them connecting. Wow. Each one of them with shots to the right. Now, they, there's a little bit of there's some swelling of Chris Gray. Yeah, that's significant now. That's over the right eye of classic Chris Gray. Got to watch that. Not sure if it was the butt of the heads or if it was a punch. But Chris Gray, his right eye is closing. So he is, and he is leaning with that. Keep an eye on it. Chris Gray, it's hard to know where you are on the scorecards because they've all been very close rounds. Oh, straight right. I think hurt Mathis. He's up against the ropes, and Mathis is hanging on. Brian Stutz is not breaking here as those two in the clinch. And Stutz does step in. Chris Gray now. That right eye is closing in a hurry. And that is his front eye as well. Oh, connects again. And Mathis punching out from up against the ropes. Right eye, very swollen for Chris Gray. Actually, I said he leans. He leads with that. He leads with his left as a orthodox boxer. And Brian Stutz with a warning for Chris Gray. Gray caught. He's holding his head down with Mathis and Gray. Complaining about that and took a, a top of the head to the chin of Chris Gray. And there's some holding here. Brian Stutz finally calls for a break. I think we're frustrated with both boxers. Both connect and another shot to that swollen right eye of Chris Gray. Will Chris Gray be able to see a shot here late? Can Mathis find a looping left that maybe Gray can't see with that swollen right eye of Chris Gray in the red trunks. And a lot of the zip off of the punches of both of these boxers. Oh, again, that left found the home of that swollen right eye. Chris Gray taking some more chances here, leaning forward, and Mathis connected as we're in the final few seconds of the sixth and final round. Oh, Mathis caught, going back. Gray let his hands go, and they punch through the bell as Chris Gray jumps on the, the second rope in celebration. That right eye swollen, but he feels like he won the bell. Very, very close.